the theme of my comments are sort of bring together the, the two ways in which this uh, gathering has been uh, described. Making worlds and forum on the commons. I'm trying to bring together these ideas uh, and uh, give you and share with you uh, some of the uh, conclusions I've made over many years in studying of how commons are made. I think that the, the, this question has been very important because commons are not uh, ancient um, residues of uh, past history, uh, but in fact commons are continually being created and recreated, uh, especially in, um, uh, in this period of time. Uh, we're discovering that there are many new commons that are being made, and uh, in fact, one of the major questions is, in terms of the Occupy movement, is whether, in fact, this movement will inspire the creation of many new commons. Some of you might have been tourists who have gone to Maine and have seen uh, the uh, lobster traps along the coast of Maine, this long coast, uh, and might not recognize the fact that this um, lobster fishery uh, is actually a, one of the biggest commons on the planet. And uh, it's a uh, commons that has been put together over about 150 years, involving many generations of lobster fishermen and fisherwomen. Now, how that happens, how that came to be, uh, was the object of my studies. And because I think that if we can get some principles from the way these, uh, um, these fishermen put together their, their lives together to <laughs> Uh, basically managed to carry on without exhausting the lobster stock of the, of the, um, of the coast and continue to this day, um, we would learn something that would be very important in general. Uh, so, in looking at this uh, long history, I recognize that there were uh, three at least basic conditions that, are, that uh, were involved in the actual creation of a commons. And uh, one uh, I'm calling the shadow of the future. In other words, it's only when these lobster fishermen began, and women began to recognize uh, in the 1930s that they were overfishing the lobster catch and that within a relatively short time, if this process continued, where they would basically compete with each other to outfish in the context of a great collapse uh, in the price of the lobster, and uh, this was being the 1930s, um, what they recognized was that if they continued in this behavior, and this was a collective recognition, uh, they would ba basically fish out the um, um, the lobster stock and destroy not only their own livelihood but the livelihood of the, of the communities all along the coast of Maine. This recognition that the future had an impact upon their behavior in the immediate present is a very important aspect of the creation of that particular commons and I think in fact it's a very important aspect of any kind of commons creation. It's so a recognition that, in fact, if the possibilities of sharing and communal uh, uh, organization of the use and uh, extraction of an important resource is, uh, if, if, this, if this process is not uh, done uh, properly, it will lead to a catastrophe, is a very important part of our recognition of the commons. And I think, actually, uh, uh, the Occupy movement is beginning to understand that. And in fact, I, it seems to me very much an important part of the Occupy movement is a recognition that, in fact, the contemporary situation that we're, we're engulfed in is, uh, is going to be extremely catastrophic for us if it continues at this, at this pace. And that, in fact, we, the 99%, must come together and begin to create another type of society and economy. This sense of the future looming above, upon us is very deep, and I think makes for the power of this movement, because it speaks 
It's opening its mouth and speaking to this anxiety that we all know and feel. And we see graphically all over, for example, the world, including, for example, in Greece at this point. Um, so that's the first uh, part of the uh, uh, story that I think is very important. The, the second part of this story is that when, when I looked at the, um, uh, the lobster fishermen and what they're doing, um, what I recognized was that it was very important for these lobster fishermen when they received a new recruit to begin to train them. The training process to develop communal values is not something that can be over neglected in, in any commons creation, in any making of a commons. It's very important because one can't assume it in this type of society that we live in. Uh, and in fact, this very careful training in communal values is done by apparently what at first sight appear to be very rough guys uh, and with a, a number of rough women too, strong women, um, they, they indeed uh, are, are very careful when new recruits come in, when um, someone is going to be joining the lobster fishery. Uh, they are taught very precisely not only how you get lobsters, but also how you create a common relationship with others. It's very important and cannot be um, assumed it's not enough just simply to have some hand signals. It, it's very important for us to become very clear that we uh, that these values are good, that these values are, are, are crucial for the development and the continuation of the commons. And uh, finally, what, uh, when I examined the history of this commons, one of the things that I saw very clearly was the continual fact that a commons is never a given once you've established it. It's always under attack by both the state and by the market, which is uh, a code word for capital for a moment. Um, the state has always been in a position to criminalize the economy, especially the, the kind of state that we have um, in in contemporary society, uh, where the principles of the common often enter uh, into a, uh, a, a direct confrontation with the laws of private property. Similarly, uh, the markets always have a temptation. <coughs> okay, let me finish up. That markets always tempt commoners to break the rules of the commons. And it's always there, it never goes away until you actually get rid of the market and you get rid of the state. The criminalization and the temptation are both always in process and always, in fact, must be struggled against. And, um, and I, I believe that these are three elements that are very useful to, uh, and that I, I did find in, the, in this main lobster comment, but I do think that they're important to reflect upon in the process of launching new commons, which we always are doing in mustard. And um, with that, I leave <coughs> you.